The most aquatic of all freshwater turtles is found in New Guinea and a few rivers like this one in northern Australia. The pig-nosed turtle. Its feet have become completely transformed into flippers and are of little use on land. And indeed, the pig-nosed turtle rarely comes ashore. But turtles are descended from land-living ancestors, and so they still need to breathe air. Females also have to return to land in order to lay their eggs. Pig noses nest during the dry season, high up on the river bank. If turtle eggs get wet, the babies inside them will drown. At least, that is the case with most turtles. An egg for a turtle represents a huge investment, as it does for any reptile. So turtles go to a great deal of trouble to make sure that they lay their eggs in safe, dry places. So you would think that dropping one into water would be a disaster. But watch. A fully developed baby turtle. And it's come from an egg which, as far as we know, is unique in the reptile world. It can not only survive being flooded, it actually requires to be submerged in water in order to hatch. This enables the pig nose to make the hatching of its eggs coincide with the onset of the rainy season. A view inside the egg would show the babies to be fully developed. They can remain there in a kind of suspended animation, if necessary, for weeks. When the rains finally arrive, they are torrential. The river rises swiftly, and soon the nests are flooded. This would be a disaster for most turtles, but the unhatched pig noses are ready for it. Indeed, it's the moment they've been waiting for. Their unique waiting strategy ensures that no matter how late the rains are, the young turtles only emerge when the rivers are full and there's plenty to eat. They're able to swim immediately. In due course, the females among them will return here to lay eggs themselves. The males, however, will never set foot on dry land again. No turtles are better suited to life in fresh water than the pig nose.